In today's video, we will be talking about the SpaceX Inspiration4 mission, a SpaceX rocket launched into orbit, carrying four passengers, none of whom are professional astronauts, and marking the start of the first ever civilian-only voyage to Earth's orbit. What was the reason behind this mission? How did the civilians train for space? Let's find out. The mission, called Inspiration4, was a privately chartered spaceflight launched on September 15, 2021. It was the first crewed orbital flight without any professional astronauts. Leadership, hope, generosity, and prosperity were call signs given to the four-person crew and their related pillars of support for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Jared Isaacman, a self-described space nerd with over 6,000 hours of flying various airplanes, was the mission commander. Haley Arsenault, a medical assistant, Chris Sembrowski, a data engineer, and Sean Proctor, a geoscientist and scientific communication expert, were among others who joined him. Resilience and its four occupants orbited the Earth for three days before splashing down off the coast of Florida on September 18. According to the mission's official website, Inspiration4's principal goals were to raise awareness and funding for St. Jude and usher in a new era of human spaceflight and exploration. Now, who was responsible for Inspiration4? Jared Isaacman, the successful CEO and creator of Shift4 Payments, established Inspiration4. In a statement, Isaacman said, Inspiration4 is the realization of a lifelong dream and a step towards the future in which anyone can venture out and explore the stars. According to Space.com, he recalls being in kindergarten at Wilson Elementary School in New Jersey and gazing at high-resolution graphic books of the space shuttle. Isaacman holds multiple world records, including a speed around the world flight that raised funds and awareness for Make-A-Wish Foundation. According to Business Wire, he's also flown in over 100 air shows with the Black Diamond Jet Team. Each of the concerts was held in support of a good cause. Isaacman's campaign to collect more than $200 million for St. Jude Children's Research Facility inspired Inspiration4. He also contributed $100 million of his own money to the initiative. As mentioned before, the mission's commander was Jared Isaacman. Haley Arsenault, 29, a medical assistant at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in Memphis, was the first crew member to join him. As a kid, she got treatment for bone cancer from the same hospital. St. Jude picked her to join the crew and she became the first individual with a prosthetic body part to go to space, since she received metal rods to replace sections of her bones in her left leg during her treatment. She was also one of the youngest individuals in space and the youngest American, edging out legendary astronaut Sally Ride by a few years. The last two seats were awarded in two separate contests. Chris Sembrowski is a data engineer and longtime space fanatic who served as a Huntsville, Alabama space camp counselor. Sembrowski's seat was up for grabs in a fundraiser competition to benefit St. Jude, but while he entered, an unknown acquaintance was the winner. According to Space.com, the acquaintance then gave the seat to Sembrowski, noting his keen interest in spaceflight and astronomy. According to a news report, Sembrowski worked as a mission expert, assisting with payload, science experiments, communications to mission control, and more. As the winner of the Shift for Shop competition, Proctor, 51, a geology and planetary science professor and scientific communication expert, was given her seat. The contest required competitors to create an e-commerce site utilizing Isaacsman's Shift4 payments technology. Proctor also made a video sharing her inspirational entrepreneurial story and why her company should be elevated to the stars as part of the contest. Proctor's Space to Inspire business sold postcards and prints of her Afronaut space art, which she uses to promote dialogue about women of color working in space. Proctor has been involved in four analog space missions, including a NASA-funded four-month Mars mission at the Hawaii Space Exploration Analog and Simulation, or HI-SEAS, habitat. She was a candidate in the finals for the 2009 NASA astronaut selection and has participated in four analog space missions. Proctor was the Inspiration 4's mission's pilot. Why did Isaacman pick SpaceX? There was no question it was going to be SpaceX, Isaacman said when assessing his space tourism alternatives because Crew Dragon was already conducting crewed trips to the International Space Station for NASA. They're leading the path, he explained. After NASA's space shuttle program was over in 2011, Isaacman stated he was happy to travel on a SpaceX Crew Dragon for this expedition because he feels Musk's enterprise reinvigorated the world's interest in space. 
Musk described Inspiration4 as an important milestone towards enabling access to space for everyone during a teleconference introducing the mission. Isaacman paid an undisclosed sum to SpaceX for the voyage, although USA Today estimated it to be in the tens of millions of dollars. At first, things are very expensive, Musk noted, and it's only through missions like this that we're able to bring the costs down over time and make space accessible to all. If you've reached this far in the video, we'd like to thank you. You can extend your support by subscribing and turning on that notification bell. Comment down below, I subbed, for your chance to be entered into our monthly shout-out giveaway. How did the Inspiration4 team prepare for their science trip? While government astronauts typically train for at least two years before flying to the International Space Station, Inspiration4's preparation was substantially shorter. Their journey was shorter than most professional astronaut missions. It was for just three days in orbit compared to typical stays on the International Space Station, presently lasting six months or longer, and they didn't need any space station or spacewalk training. Nonetheless, as Isaacman had stated in prior Space.com reporting, Inspiration4's training followed the NASA-approved curriculum to prepare the new crew for launch. According to a press statement, the Inspiration4 team completed their initial centrifuge training in April. That training was designed to prepare astronauts for the gravitational forces they would face during launch and re-entry, among other things. Isaacman also followed NASA's practice of sending astronauts in remote, difficult simulations before rising to the skies by taking his group to the highlands. In all, the Inspiration4 crew underwent around six months of training, part of which took place at SpaceX's headquarters in Los Angeles in the months running up to the launch in September 2021. The crew took off aboard a Dragon capsule on SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket, the exact vehicle that sent astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin to the International Space Station on Demo-2, the world's first commercial crewed mission. The capsule was a retooled version of the Crew Dragon Resilience, which sent Crew-1 members to the International Space Station in November 2020 as the first commercial manned space voyage. For Inspiration4, Resilience received a new domed window that provides 360-degree views to the crew. Elon Musk, the creator of SpaceX, tweeted, probably most in space you could feel by being in a glass dome, since the Inspiration4 trip stayed in orbit autonomously. The window replaced the technology that allowed the capsule to connect with the space station on Crew-1. Resilience and its crew circled the Earth alone for three days, flying roughly 367 miles above our globe. This is substantially higher than any previous Crew Dragon flight and considerably higher than the International Space Station, which orbits at an average height of 250 miles. Isaacman and his colleagues took samples and captured biometric data while in orbit to assist scientists in better understanding how spaceflight affects the human body. The spacecraft also made a few communication connections to Earth, including St. Jude patients. The crew members spent a lot of time admiring our beautiful planet from the cupola glass. In addition, Zembrowski played the ukulele he took with him, while Proctor created artwork, including a depiction of a dragon lifting crew dragon into space. Pizza, Mediterranean lamb, spaghetti bolognese, sandwiches, and a variety of munchies were along the dishes enjoyed by the Inspiration4 crew. The food was cold, which Musk assured would be addressed on in future trips. The wealthy entrepreneur also promised to renovate Crew Dragon's bathroom, which had a fantastic view. It was just beneath the cupola, but it didn't seem to operate quite correctly. The difficulties didn't distract much from the overall event, which was described as life-changing by all four crew members. Inspiration4, named for the four-person crew that will generate money and awareness for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, is a turning point in human spaceflight and exploration. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.